We are celebrating St. Patrick's Day by recreating one of my favorite pub meals. Today, on Grandma Bessie's house, we are cooking beer-battered fish and serving the fish with crispy golden fries, making the Grandma Bessie's house version of fish and chips. The recipe and its ingredients are in the video's description. To make tartar sauce, add the juice from half a lemon to half a cup of cold mayonnaise. Stir until fully combined. Add the remaining ingredients. And combine. As a side note, I should have combined these ingredients in a large bowl to shorten this step. That way, everything would have been added together and combined in one step. Place tartar sauce in refrigerator to cool. If you are enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. If you enjoy watching our videos, help our channel grow by clicking subscribe, followed by clicking the notifications link. To make fish, add cornmeal to self-rising flour. Combine. Add krill seasoning and lemon zest and combine again. Dredge each slice of fish in the flour mixture. Sit the coated fish on a baking rack. Your fish should look like this. Before we fry the fish, we need to coat it again. But first, add stout beer to the flour mixture. I'm adding Guinness. Combine until you reach the texture of pancake batter. So what's your favorite pub food? Let us know by leaving a comment below. Add vegetable oil to a skillet spread with nonstick spray. Over medium heat, allow oil to heat up until it reaches between 365 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Dredge fish again in flour mixture and... Immediately place in skillet, making sure not to crowd the skillet. Cook fish three to four minutes per side or until golden. Place fish on a baking rack to drain. Repeat the process, cooking fish in batches. Just lovely. But before we eat, don't forget to like and share this video. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notifications link to stay current on new recipes. Serve fish with tartar sauce. Parsley as a garnish. And with crispy golden fries. In addition, serve with lemon wedges. And malt vinegar. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.
Thank you.